so just a little update on my plants. This is the geranium. A lot of these blooms are falling off here, but we've got some new ones coming in on this little thing and right here. And right here, you can see these two new ones. There's the mint over there, still looking pretty good. And over here, this lavender is really sprouting up. Um, I knew that was gonna grow pretty fast. Silver moss got a lot taller. It's hard to tell in the video, but it did. And then um, these little daisies got a lot taller. We've got blooms. Um, these calla lilies got a lot bigger and just more open. Some of them are even losing their blooms. And then these snapdragons, um, they're not looking as great. Uh, I don't know if this was the best, uh, placement for them. Um, this sedum back here looking pretty good. Got a little bigger. These peonies look really good too. I need to um, deadhead them a little bit. We have like so many ants out here getting on these as you can see those little ones in there. Um, but yeah, we've got some pretty, pretty blooms. A lot of um, blooms on this peony plant. This mint is still looking, oh, there was a bee, oh my gosh. This mint is still looking really good. Um, and then over here, we've got these ones that I was propagating. I said that before. They aren't doing super great out here, um, honestly. Like, I haven't been watering them frequently enough, so that's partly why, but they've also been being eaten by ants. Like, you can't really see maybe, but there are a ton of ants all over this one. Maybe if I zoom in. Oh, there's one right there, crawling up there. But for some reason, the, this mint and this salvia is attracting the ants a lot more than that one over there. So I don't know why this one in particular, but they're really attacking this one. And then this iris, for some reason, it's lost its little bloom here. Probably gonna just take that out, but um, it looks good though overall. It's grown a little bit. Can't really see with my shadow in the way. Um, but yeah, and everything else looks pretty good. And then this one, this little basket here, sorry for the like AC noise, but this basket here was the most impressive to me. It's really gotten a lot fuller and opened up. As you can see, it looks so pretty. I just love the vibrant colors, pink and purple, and it's gotten so much fuller and bigger. It looks so good. It's hard to tell actually from the camera, like it doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person, but it's really full. Maybe if I show you from like this angle, we got some sunlight coming in, but it's really getting a lot fuller and it's a lot of these have opened up and then um, these have just gotten bigger. Same with these little lilacs here. So yeah, I was really impressed with this and it just looks so nice. Oops, knocked the table a little bit. But yeah, it just looks so nice and I'm like obsessed with it. Looks so good. And I got this at Food Lion. Who would have thought? So these are the flowers once again. Doing another update in the same vlog because today is actually a few days later. Um, and wow, once again, this is so beautiful. Like, it's growing so much. I'm so, like, amazed. But yeah, I just wanted to document this because it is so pretty! And um, I actually got my nails done for prom. Gel, just like French nails, it's not focusing, right? 
I got these French gel nails. They look really nice. They're like super uh, shiny and have like a little bit of a pink tint. So yeah. Hey everyone, so I straightened my hair. It's like, it looks so much longer when it's straight. Um, I don't know if you can see that really well. The lighting in here isn't like great. But um, yeah, it's super straight and I love it. <laughs> I love when my hair is straight, but it just takes so long to straighten it because it's super curly and super thick. So I don't really straighten it that often, but of course for prom, I wanted to. So here it is. And I'm just like, you know, wearing a black robe right now because I still have to do like some other stuff. So after I like took a shower and everything, just using like the regular products that you can see actually in my cruelty free makeup and beauty products video. Um, so just yeah, check that out. I'll link it like somewhere or in the description or something. But um, so I used this. Sorry, the lighting is like so bad. So I used this um lotion. This is just like body lotion, so I just use this and it just smells really good. It's from Italy, from Aton. <laughs> um, and then actually just like I guess like I'm not gonna really go over like all the stuff that I just regularly use because you can just see that in that um cruelty free video that I was just talking about. Um, like I used this um moisturizer and this also moisturizer and oh yeah and then I used this like eye treatment thing these are all just in, in that video that I was talking about so there's no need for me to really talk about it okay so I used this iconic spray face spray Mario Badescu um, and then I also used this which is so funny this is just perfume like I just wanted to mention this because it actually smells so good. And I've had it since like seventh grade, so it like reminded me of like seventh grade when I used it because I haven't used it in a while. Um, but it's just this like Taylor Swift like <laughs> perfume. I have already said this, but like I don't think I'm gonna wear makeup. Um, but I'm gonna like comb out my eyebrows. I already like tweezed them. Um, and then I'm going to. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's like so bad. But yeah, and then I'm just gonna like curl my lashes and like make them look more, um, long. And then I'm gonna use this like primer, um, cause I don't really mind having like primer on my face cause it's just kind of a, it's like moisturizer but like a little different. So this one especially is like, okay, it's not gonna focus, but yeah, this one especially is, like, not that, um, it's not that, like, invasive, I feel like. Usually what I do is I'll just take, like, a really heavy, like, moisturizer, um, and just, like, put it, like, here and, like, here, here, and, like, here and here, um, like, places where you would put highlighter, and so, like, sometimes, like, if you use, like, a pretty, like, thick moisturizer, um, it'll just create that, like, um, shine and then just like some strawberry cherry chapstick which I've had like forever I know this isn't cruelty free but I've had it for a long time and I just haven't used it up okay if I have to like okay so see I have this I might use this concealer stick NYX concealer and then here is the jewelry so these are the earrings that I'm gonna wear long earrings and I have a few different rings here. I'll try to get them all in this shot. Um, so this is the one that Aton gave me, which I already showed you guys. Um, this one right here, sorry, I can't see what I'm doing because the camera's in the way. But this one is just one that I picked up um, last year, actually for prom. And then this one is one that my dad got me for prom last year. So, yeah, this is just all the jewelry right here. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing, like, a necklace or, like, bracelet or anything like this. And then just for, like, other things, I have this little tiny clutch. It's much smaller than it looks. Um, and then over here, I have this, like, fashion tape, which I'm going to use for, like, holding up my dress. 
um, like the straps. And then this, these are like these little clips that you can use. Um, and what I'm going to do is, because my dress has like a really long train, and so for the pictures I'm going to have the train, but then when I actually get there, or like before I get there, I'm going to like clip the train to the lining of the dress, like underneath it. Like I'm just going to like, okay, so here's the train like this. I'm going to like take the train and put it underneath the dress and clip it to the lining. And then I also wanted to show you guys the corsage and boutonniere because you guys know I love flowers. So here is the boutonniere. It has like this little, I don't know what this is, but um, it has this nice rose, this white rose, and just like some other blue flowers. Like you can't really see it through here, but um, maybe that's like a little bit of a better angle. It's just so pretty and like classy. And then under here is my corsage. Um, and it's just, I know the guy's usually supposed to get the corsage, but like we're doing two proms, so we're just saying like, I'm gonna get the ones for these and then he's gonna get the ones for those. So we have like some nice flowers, some nice little crystals. It just looks so good. And then, um, yeah, it's like, trying to like show you guys a little bit better but it has like a little crystal wristband and it looks so good and I'll, you'll probably see it like better when we actually go there but first I'm gonna use this hangover um by Too Faced primer and this is like I want to do like an ASMR video like because this actually makes such good sounds but um that's for another time so anyways, so I'm just going to use this, um, I don't know if I should shake this up or like, maybe, we'll see, <laughs> or should I like put it on my face, maybe I'll do that, I'll just put it like directly on my face, I don't know if that's like something people do, I'm not a beauty guru, obviously, I'm like, oh yeah, let me just like, use this primer that I don't even know anything about, <laughs> okay, yeah, there you go, I don't even know why I'm filming this, it's just like fun. Um, documenting me going to prom. Oh, there's like sticky goop. Okay, maybe I should have. Oh, this is all like sticky goop. But maybe I should have just put it on my hand first. Probably. It's like so hard to do with like not looking in a mirror. I'm like looking in the camera. So sorry. I'm like definitely not looking at the viewfinder. I'm using my phone, by the way, too. I'm not even using, like, my good camera. My forehead is, like, one centimeter. Practically don't even, like, you know how there's some people who have, like, a five head? Or they're like, you know, I can fit, like, this many fingers. I'm, I have, like, a three head, like. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. This is good. I feel like it's. I feel like this isn't even like really that good. Um, let me look in the mirror real quick. Okay, I'm actually gonna do some more on here because I I didn't realize that the first bunch of it was gonna be like goopy. You know, like this, like you know when you um, first pour out, or like first like open some sort of like product and it has like that goop I don't know I don't know why I'm asking because no one's gonna reply to me you can reply in the comments <laughs> sorry I'm like so focused right now can't believe I actually used to want to do this I used to like I used to be really into makeup actually funny story um when I was in like seventh grade I used to really love makeup. I used to do the full face. I've, like, talked about this before. I'm pretty sure I always talk about this. But I just think it's so weird that I went from, like, wearing so much makeup to wearing literally none. <laughs> it's just so funny, like, where life has taken me. But I like makeup. I just, like, I would wear it. I'd probably look so much better if I actually wore it, too. And I just like putting it on. Like, this is probably why I'm filming this right now. Because I'm like, 
yeah, look at me, I get to pretend I'm like a beauty guru, <laughs> um, but it's like, I guess the reason I stopped doing makeup, or like on myself, I still actually do it on other people sometimes, but the reason I like stopped doing it on myself was because, well, first of all, I realized I wasn't actually like great at it, like I'm like okay at it, but I'm not like, you know, freaking beauty guru or anything, I'm not like one of those beauty gurus on YouTube, but, um, I'm okay at it, um, but I just realized, like, it's also, like, really bad for your skin, and I just, like, thought it was, like, gross, and I, like, couldn't move or, like, do anything, because, like, I felt like it was just gonna mess up my makeup, I felt like I couldn't be free and, like, just live my life. So it was like, oh my god, is my makeup coming off? And like, and like when I hug people or something, I'm like, like you don't want to get your foundation on them. <laughs> I have to look in the mirror again, sorry. Yeah, the only thing I hate about this primer is it kind of like flakes off. Like you can't really see it, but it kind of like, when you like touch it or something, it kind of flakes off. Which is, eh. Now, as I was talking about before, I'm going to use that like, um, creamy moisturizer. This is what I did last year, and I think it worked pretty well. I'm basically just like, okay, like, where's the highlight? Right here, I think. And then, I'm gonna rub it in, don't worry. You're probably like, what is she doing? Like, mm. Imagine if I actually left it like that. That would be... And then this is the hardest part, like right here. <laughs> wow, I look great. Okay, let's see. We're gonna do a little bit right here too. Oh, I should have put some under my eyebrows. Let me do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll comb my eyebrows out and then I'll put this on. So, this is all I do with my eyebrows. Just, and like, obviously like shaping them. I just do them myself, like tweezing them, because I don't trust anyone with my eyebrows. I used to get them like threaded, but I went through like so many places and like people would just mess them up or like make them like way too thin and then I would have to like grow them out, which takes forever, so. See like some of this primer is like getting in this thing. Not... Great. Can't even tell if that looks good. The lighting is like so bad. I'm like, I have a window over here, but that's why like half my face is dark. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, that lighting. Okay. I'm gonna put that under my eyebrows. It's hard to be like really accurate with this, I feel like. So I just want it on my brow bone, but but it's kinda hard to like actually get it there. With like my finger and just like lift those brows and then that's what Makes it work. Ugh, my eyelids are pretty dry too. Okay, I just already like rubbed that um, moisturizer in. Not sure if it really did much. Kind of, but I feel like I just applied it really like sloppy. So it kind of just got like all over the place here. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna look any good, but. We'll see. I'm trying to see if this is like. Maybe if I put just a little bit more. Maybe that'll help. I'm gonna go just do this in the mirror because I can't do this on here. Okay. A lot better with the mirror. It's so impossible to do this in like a camera like this. And it's like my phone camera too. So it's just not ideal. But, I just like filming, um, vlogs about my life. Um. 
her acting. That looks good. This one looks so much better than this one. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Sorry, like half this vlog is just me like saying, ah, I can't do this here, so I have to do it in the mirror. There we go. That right there is another reason why I couldn't be a beauty guru because I can't do makeup without a mirror. So that's just like problem number one. Anyways, okay, so last but not least, um, I'm gonna put on this chopstick. And once again, Chapstick brand actually sucks, and they're not cruelty-free, but I've literally, I bought this chapstick, like, so long ago, before I was vegan or anything, um, well, I was vegetarian, because I've been vegetarian since I was, like, five, but this I bought, like, so long ago, and it's, like, hardly even looks like I used it, because chapstick brand, ooh, who's at our door? Chapstick brand actually, like, sucks, that's why I, like, haven't used this, because even, like, despite the fact that it's, like, not cruelty-free, like, that sucks too, but, like, the fact that this, like, dries out my lips so much, like, it's really, like, I feel like I have to put on more chapstick after I put this on. So it's, like, don't even use this. Like, even if you don't care about, like, cruelty-free and stuff, just don't even use this brand. It sucks. But anyways, uh, so, just gonna, like... The only reason I'm using it is because it's, like, tinted and it, like, gives my lips color. Uh, leave in the comments down below if you know any other, like, tinted, uh, chopsticks like this that are cruelty-free. Uh, I would love to know. There. And I think my hair covers up my blemishes, lol, um, a little bit, too. So, I don't think I'm gonna use the concealer because I just hate makeup. I hate taking it off. I don't like the fact... I already, like, talk about this so much. I just feel like... I just want to, like, make sure you know that I'm not, like, one of those people that's like, yeah, I don't wear makeup, so I'm, like, better than you. I'm not like that at all. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a germaphobe, so... Anyways, um... Oh, yeah! My Mario Badescu spray. I have to spray that on my face. Because this is, like, the spray is, like, so aesthetic, and, like, I know why people use it, because it's aesthetic. But it also actually is nice, like, if you're at school or something and your face is just kind of dry or whatever, this spray, it's pretty refreshing, so. And I'm probably going to have to, like, re-straighten my hair, because it probably got, like, in my hair a little bit. And it's gonna get like, <laughs> it's gonna make my hair unstraight. Yeah, this spray tastes like cherries. Like, not that I'm like drinking it or something, but it's just um, sometimes like when I'm just like, ah, it's like I taste it and it's pretty tasty. Wouldn't recommend like legit trying to get it on your tongue, but whatever. So, yeah. Here's the final look. Well, not the final look. I still have to um, actually put on my prom dress. And I'm probably going to re-straighten my hair. Oh, yeah. One thing. Um, this spray is what I... So after I straighten my hair, I put this spray in it. Um... I don't know exactly what it does, but it just makes my hair, like, really soft and smooth. And I love it. And the camera's finally focusing. But yeah, this is, like, a good spray. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to shake it because it's, like, a thingy. Tip. Okay, but let me do this. <gasps> Gotta get it in my hair. Okay. Oh, and then my perfume. Gotta put that on, too. Taylor Swift perfume. I was, like, thinking about going with Daisy, but this is prom, so I have to be, like, really extra and wear, like, something really sweet. And this is sweet. This smells, smells like seventh grade. Smells like, um, berries or something. I, like, don't know. I'm not a, like, perfume smeller. I 
think it smells like berries or like raspberries or like something very sweet. So now I'm gonna finish straightening my hair. Lighting in this corner of my room is legitimately horrible. Um, but we're gonna have to deal with it because this is where I keep all my like hair stuff, hair tools, also where I like plug them in. Like I have actual like, I have like a, what is it called? One of those like, uh, you know, like one of the, I think it's called like a power strip. That's what it's called. Okay. Yeah. So I have one of those here and so I can like plug in like all my stuff and wow, straightening my hair is like really hard. I'm like trying to like not get a crease like right here, like kind of impossible, but oh, I messed up my eyebrows too. So I'm going to show you everything I'm bringing in my little clutch. Um, gosh, if I can open it. So it's just pretty much the stuff I showed you. It's just the eyelash curler, the chapstick, and then just concealer just in case. Um, and then obviously like the tickets and my school ID. Just not going to show you guys that. So here is the finished product. Um, I wish I could bring my eyebrow comb to prom, but it's too, it doesn't like fit in the, uh, purse thingy, not purse clutch that I'm bringing. So, this is the look with my nails. Um, I just have to put on the dress and the shoes and the jewelry, which I will show you. Yeah. <laughs> Storms we chase are leading us and